Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. My name is Anatoly and in this channel we talk everything Agile and Agile tools. Today we are talking about Jira and I'm going to show you how to create components, what are components, and I'm going to show you everything around the components. Before we do, there are two things I want to tell you. Thing number one, if you guys want to learn Jira from basic to advanced, learn things like permissions and workflows and groups and all the other things, you can go to get my help section in description for the video and uh, get a course. The second thing is, is if you guys are completely stuck and you need somebody to configure your Jira, I'll help you with Agile. I can help you with that. Also go to a Calendly link and get my help section to schedule time with me or somebody from my team and we will make sure to help you out with anything you have trouble with. Now let's see how we can create components in Jira and what are the components. First of all, to create components, you go to your project. Right now, I'm in a Scrum project, and there's a components tab right there. I click on it, and I can go to a components. A components, as it says here, are subsections of projects and use them to group issues. So we used to group issues by Apex, but we also can group issues by components, and we can do some very cool things with components. So let's see. First, we can create a component. When we're creating it, we need to give it a name. So we, I can say, for example, this is a Define Agile YouTube video. So maybe sprint related videos will be my component. Your component might be a login page. Uh, I don't know what else, something like authentication component. Those all can be uh, components. So in my description, I would say all videos related to Sprints. One cool thing is you can have a lead, so somebody from your team can be a lead on this, so you can specify your lead. And then uh, default assignee, we can do it to the project lead, make unassigned or default for project. I'll leave the default for project and click save. Here we are. And now you see that our component is created and we have zero issues for this component. So the next step for us is, since we have a component created, is to add issues to our component. So let's do it. All we need to do is go to our issues and start adding them to our components. So I go to my backlog and start searching for issues related to sprints. And uh, let's look at those. Sprint report is definitely related to sprint. So let's, it even says sprint related in the epic. So then if I go to then if I go to more fields, I can see components and I can click and say sprint related components. And here we go. And I can take another one and also go to components, add to sprint related components. And let's add both of them to my sprint. I know they probably need to be estimated, but we're going to cheat here and then just add them to a sprint directly. One and two. Here they are. And now we are going to active sprints. So we see those two are here. We go to components. We see two issues now. We can click on those issues to see what are part of these components. I hope it makes sense. Now let's go to an issue and then let's see if we can see the component there. We see components, sprint related components, so you can easily click on that and see everything else related to that component. Hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you think they brought you value. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye bye.